Hello, Buzzer Culture. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Well, we're producing belts, but only for green science. Uh, speaking of which, um, we are not researching anything, and that's because last time, or after last episode, I went ahead uh, and uh, did some more research to get out of the way so that today we can dive into rail because today we will um, come up with a modular uh, rail design um, to see how we can set this up and then probably one of the of the first things that we have to do is figure out how do we set up smelting with only trains and no belts that could definitely be interesting and uh, with the rail i think we then also need uh, the uh, the stations and the lights as well as fluid wagons and then uh, we can turn our attention towards uh, uh, fluid handling uh, which will then open up the way to uh, oil processing so we will have to wait until uh, the rail is done and then we need to build some rail pieces that we can lay down and then i think somewhere in a somewhat flat area like over here we can try uh, a layout because the layout is important it should be modular it should be aligned to the to the chunks and the chunks you can see if you press f4 and then show the tile grid so the small squares those are tiles and the bigger squares they're uh, 32 by 32 i call them uh, chunks uh, taking the, the the naming from uh, from uh, Minecraft and I think we will have a rail going here at the at the top and then on the side so we will have rail inside the chunk on north and west side but not on the south and east side because south and east that would then be on the other side in in the next chunk and let's see uh, what should be the maybe four chunks could be the smallest size of chunks that uh, we want to to have and it depends a bit on uh, on the size of uh, our rail or train which is um, three long two locomotives at ch at each end and then uh, one wagon and we should be able uh, to have uh, one train station on this side and one train station on the other but that's then already the next step first we have to uh, to make sure that we can build a rail system that is tileable with rail research done i have set up here a machine to produce some rails i also crafted myself a few uh, uh, locomotives and uh, cargo wagons because we will need them and then let's head up here to our wide open space and see what we can come up with um, yeah, that's the right button 
Uh, let's enable the grid again. And then... We will have one line going down here. And we will make it two chunks for now. And then we have... one line going this way right at the border right then we need power poles and i fear that will not span um, to the next one, yes. So, we will also extend this that way, two chunks, and this way. Because in the end, we need to have um, all four pieces that we can build. And out of rail sections. We will have to see how we can uh, do the setup with the power. Uh, luckily, in the upcoming Factoria update, they increased the the span of the large power poles, so they span a full 40, 32 blocks. Um, actually. Similar as uh, it's also already in uh, in Crustorio, and that is is really uh, uh, handy. Um, so let's place in this one, and then we have one more rail going here and up and those are the rails in all cardinal directions but we need to be able to have curves as well. Um, right, so if we are driving that way we want to go on that track. If we are coming from that way, we are going to that track. So all that is fine. But now we also have this. That was on too far. And again, out of uh, rail pieces. Well, luckily, until I get back, I should have all the rail pieces I need to, uh, to finish that up. 
then we can think of how to uh, distribute the power poles. Um, and ooh, 35. Hopefully that's enough. I mean, we only need a few more curves. And then once we have the power situation sorted, um, oh, we need to go there. We're coming. Yeah. That looks about right. And this is not the best uh, crossing in manner of uh, throughput, but as we have a tileable grid, uh, if one crossing is overloaded, um, they can find another way around. So, I guess we shall have poles here, and then just drag them out. That would mean how far from the edge are they? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six from the edge. One, two. That's four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have this one here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then downward. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then finally, this direction. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Because that would allow us to have the next crossing right there, and uh, it is all tileable. Nice. So we have the first piece of the of the puzzle in. Uh, we can disable the grid, and now we need the the train stations and more importantly we need the signals uh, so we can place them uh, appropriately uh, let's wait for the research to uh, to finish um, also stock up here a bit more on um, on the rail pieces we will need quite a few uh, with with this base. Um, and uh, once we have all the necessary research done, 
we can see how to place the lights. The signals are now also done. So let's craft a few of these. We need both kinds. So yeah, don't need more rails. Now it's only about the signaling. And the way this works is This is where we come in. Hmm. No, changed my mind. This is where we come in because then we can have signaling on the inside and we should always place a signal before we split off. So Signals go there and there. And then we have on the opposite side the signal going out. So basically this middle portion that's one chunk or one signal block. What happens if we do this? Does not change anything. Does the signal type matter? No. So that's the best we can do. And then basically back here we have three length train. So basically here we have another signal. And then potentially there would be uh, the uh, other one. So that means right after the power pole there in the middle gets where the signal is going and that's it right so now we can have this as a basic blueprint to take everything with us on the blueprint right then we snap to grid and we call that um, tileable cross complete because it's the it's the whole thing well, i think that will do for today hope you enjoyed it and join me next time when we will figure out how to do stations